Wilson has been making us laugh for years, and now he's hoping to bring us some more joy and happiness with his new book. It's a great new book. It is. It's called Soul Boom, Why We Need a Spiritual Revolution. Rain, it's so good to see you. We're so happy you're here. This book is very eye-opening. I wasn't sure what to expect. Jenna was telling me about the book. She's like, you got to get it. You got to get it. I got it. Um, spirituality is kind of a, it's at the core of who you are. Yeah, yeah. It, it, thank you. Thanks for checking yeah. it out. And it's so nice to talk to you guys about it. Yeah, it's, you know, this is kind of a secret passion of mine. Um, I kind of say that I have a secret inner Oprah, uh, <laughs> but I really... Um, uh, I'm I'm passionate about the ideas and spirituality and how that they can bring us hope and uh, balance and and wellness not just on an individual level but on a societal level as well and that's mm -hmm. some of what I talk about in mm -hmm. there. And we got to talk a little bit mm -hmm. earlier this summer about yeah. your journey mm -hmm. to spirituality and and talk about your childhood mm -hmm. and sort of how it's led you to where you are now. Yeah, you know I I had. Um, I, in some ways, I had a wonderful childhood. I don't want to paint it as no. as, as bad. But in, in some ways, I really struggled, and there were a lot of issues. My mom took off when I was about a year and a half, two years old, and I stayed with my dad, and he was in a dysfunctional second marriage, and I always felt alone and isolated. I, I, I suffered from a lot of anxiety, and the anxiety really increased and built up when I was in my 20s, mm -hmm. um, living in New York, trying to be an actor. And... Um, and what I realized now is I was going through a lot of mental health issues mm -hmm. at the time. And the only thing I knew to do, because back in the 90s, there wasn't <laughs> as, that much therapy around yeah. and there wasn't... It's like, much discussion even. Yeah. There was more of a stigma. Absolutely. Yeah. There weren't podcasts about yeah. mental health yeah. and YouTube yeah. channels about mental health. So I just started exploring spirituality because I felt like maybe because I had let go of the Baha'i faith, the religion of my youth. And I thought, well, maybe... Uh, there's some kind of answer in a, in a connection to God or a higher power and, and exploring the world's religions. So I got a lot of solace out of reading about reading the Bible, mm -hmm. reading about the Buddha, mm -hmm. reading about all the world's faiths and kind of looking for, for answers uh, in spirituality. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because I think a lot of people, before they get to the kind of enlightenment phase, they're looking for maybe my next job will make mm. me feel better. Maybe if I meet yeah. the right girl, if I get the right car, mm -hmm. if this, you, you think all of these things, like once you get there, you're going to feel that kind of goodness. But you kept getting to these places and you're like, is this, I, I'm not getting it. Yeah, it's 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 such a, a pickle about happiness, isn't it? Yeah. We always look for it on the, something on the outside, yeah. you know. If I, if I get this job or this girlfriend or I make a certain amount of money, then, then I'm going to be happy. Yeah. I'm discontent now. but And then once we get it, then we strive even further. And yeah. I, I've talked about in some, some, some interviews recently about even when I was on The Office, which mm -hmm. to me is like the pinnacle of the what best, any yeah. actor can do. I mean, just such a great show and making money and wonderful friends and family. Even then I was like kind of chronically dissatisfied yeah. and out of balance. And so it really has been looking inward. And I guess looking outward to, you know, some kind of connection to the universe or a higher mm -hmm. power, God, whatever you want to call it, that brought me a lot of solace and, and meaning and, and kind of galvanized my purpose. And I have this platform and people know me as this goofy actor, but mm -hmm. I love to have deep, meaningful, spiritual uh, conversations. Mm. Why is now the perfect time for a soul mm -hmm. boom? Well... In, early on in the book, I talk about, uh, I have a chapter called A Plethora of Pandemics. <laughs> so there's there's not just the COVID pandemic that we went through right. and during mm -hmm. which I wrote the book. Uh, there's so many crises afflicting us uh, as a species on the planet mm -hmm. and culturally here in the United States mm -hmm. right now. There's uh, rampant kind of materialism mm -hmm. and there's, there's racism and sexism. There's certainly climate change could be looked mm -hmm. at as a kind of a pandemic. But the, really the big one that it's affecting young people right now is mental health yeah. issues. And it, it really is. It's staggering and deadly. And I, m one of my main theses mm -hmm. in the book is there are spiritual tools 
that you don't have to be a member of any particular religion, mm -mm. but you can turn to these kind of ancient faith wisdom traditions mm -hmm. to find solace and purpose and meaning in your life. Mm -hmm. And it could be a great help uh, to young people navigating this difficult time. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you chose comedy as your passion, which is interesting because when you talk about all the trauma that you've been through and you describe that comedians are often, it's like the other side of the coin, yeah. isn't it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, Arthur Brooks, who just came out yeah. with a book with Oprah, mm -hmm. yes. uh, he, uh, you know, you know him, Jenna, I know, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> but he has this whole thing he talks about, about how comedians usually, the reason that they're so, uh, that they go to comedy mm -hmm. when they come from a lot of times from very difficult and miserable yeah. backgrounds or mental health imbalances is that comedy is the remedy yeah. for that mm -hmm. imbalance so when you're depressed and miserable, if you can make someone else laugh totally. or make yeah. yourself laugh, it kind of counteracts it. Yeah. And it's a way of psychologically like coping and counteracting that yeah. those difficulties. So for me, memorizing Saturday Night Live sketches, you know, from <laughs> top to bottom when I was 12 years old in my bedroom and taping Monty Python skits off the television on a little Panasonic cassette recorder and then memorizing the songs and, and whatnot, like... That kept me sane. Mm. It, was me a, it was just some joy. Was it enough, though? Do you mm -hmm. think? Is comedy enough in, in your darkest moments? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't enough for me. Mm -hmm. I needed to explore a little deeper and a little... Uh, and just delve a little yeah. a little deeper into some into some bigger ideas. Mm -hmm. Well, I love this book because it's it has so... it has takeaways like you said tools, things you can use. It's about your life, but it's so much yeah, more. Yeah, and it's and and you you mentioned it earlier, but mm -hmm. if you have a a college student, yeah. a high school student yeah. because it's also hilarious. Yeah. And funny. I think that sort of levity when we're talking about things that are big. Yeah, supported. you know, it's it's hard. You know, spirituality is a topic that sometimes when it's brought up, it's very like yeah. Yeah. gooey, gooey, yeah. kind of sentimental in a way that yeah. it doesn't, I don't really respond to. So I wanted to make conversations about kind of the the biggest possible topics, like why are we here? Why are we alive? Yeah. What's, what is our what is our greater purpose? I wanted to fill it with kind of fun and humor and crazy stories. Well, you and, did all that. Well, yeah, well, don't don't leave. No. Will you stick around? We have a game we want to play. Do you like, do you like games? <laughs> play a game with us. Do you us. like games? This is going to be fun. We promise. This, it sounds hysterical. Uh, okay, we'll be back <laughs> right after this. We are back with actor and author Rain Wilson, who's written a new book called Soul Boom, and he stuck around to play a game of... Don't look back. All right, Donna, take it away. Okay. Hi, Rain. Welcome to our <laughs> Hi, Donna. So you are going to stand right here, facing forward, and Jenna and Hoda will take turns giving you clues to the person, place, or thing that is behind you, okay? Okay. So we will have 45 seconds for each round, and Jenna, you're up first. Oh, great. So you want to stand okay. right there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's Jenna? Jenna what's my your, category? Your category is famous books. Oh, this is you a like layout. You like to read, don't you, okay. Ray? I do like to read. So don't layout. look back, Okay, look Ray. at, you have to look at Jenna. 45 I'm not seconds back. on the clock. Look at Jenna. Okay. And Jenna, go. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. um, I love you so, I'm going to eat you up. I love you so. Uh, children's book, children's book. Ah, uh, the, yeah, the, the vampire um, diary. Yeah. No. Good to Roar, zombies. I love you oh, so. Where the wild yes, things are. Yes, yes, yes. Um, oh, this is, oh mm, gosh, farmers, it's, uh, you know, 1950s, uh, 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 okay, Breaks not, of wrath. Yes! Oh, oh my gosh! It's the 30s, okay. Jenna! Uh, we're the out 30s. to see the... W the Wizard of Oz. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yes. during the Great Depression, you're right. Yes. Um, by, um, uh, who? Okay, you know him. He wrote Hop on Pop. He wrote... Dr. Seuss. Yeah, but this is one that everybody gives as a graduation present. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, the places yes! you go. Yes! Oh, my gosh. Okay, hey, that's it. Out, but that, that was, was really great. good. Way to go. Oh, yeah, you worked okay, so great. hard, but you killed it. You both did a great You're job. You're right, that it was you during the Great Depression. Okay. terrible. You had just really Wait, Rain, don't go. Don't go. Now it's me and you. This is unfair. Rain, look at me. Rain, look at me. Make eye contact, Rain. I'm ready. I'm so glad. Okay, your category in honor of Rain's book, your category is Soul Singers. Oh, jeez. Okay. If, this isn't you, fair. If you get uh -oh. five Rain's corrects, like you win. That look. Okay. Do you like Soul Singers? Uh, I was more of a punk rock kid. Oh, jeez. This is not going to go well. It's okay, okay Rain. I love you, you need anyway. five to win. 45 seconds on the clock. And go. Uh... I feel good. Uh, Aretha Franklin. <laughs> James, uh, yes, James, yes, James yes, Brown. Yeah, James go, Brown. Go. Go. Nice voice. The one you just said. Aretha Franklin. Go. <laughs> 
Um, I, I, I'm blind. Michael Bublé. I'm blind. <laughs> I'm a blind singer. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. No. <laughs> Michael Bublé. Uh, oh, uh, Michael Bublé. Rhymes with Bay. First name? Michael Bublé. My, no, Rhymes with Bay. <laughs> Uh, Bay, uh, with Bay, Bay, Michael Bay, 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 Beyonce, Why is he Bay, Bay, with Michael, uh, look at me, uh, uh, Ray Charles, yeah. <laughs> Michael, um, Michael, oh Buble. God, okay, uh, 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 it's like slow jam, slow jam, uh, oh. Oh. Marvin Gaye, <laughs> Michael Bublé, you tied with that, that was interesting. All right, was, all right. Okay. Oh. How'd I do? You were outstanding. You were oh. you but were Michael Buble, you yeah. I like that. I don't know why Michael uh, Buble was on I the have, brain. I get Michael Buble on the brain. Well, well, that, that, happens, that happens to most of us. All right, yeah. you can catch uh, Soul Boom. Check it out. Today.com slash books or wherever you buy your books. Yeah, it's an incredible one. Uh -huh. Thank you, Rain.